I'm Whitney Hill, and I am the 2021-2022 Executive Vice President, or EVP for short. I joined the Junior League of Charlotte in 2015 as a transfer from Raleigh, North Carolina League. After my transfer year, I knew I wanted to get more involved in the league, and so I began my leadership journey in the JLC by saying yes when someone nominated me to vice chair the membership meetings committee. I'm not sure if I would have nominated myself, so I'm so grateful to the woman who saw potential in me and encouraged me down this road. After two years serving as a vice chair and then committee chair, I applied to be the education and training council manager. As a reminder, being a council manager is a two-year role as you spend your first year as the assistant manager and the second as the manager, and both of these roles sit on management team. I absolutely loved my time on management team, and I loved being a part of all these conversations about how to carry out the mission of the JLC or how to change the league and make it into this vision of what we wanted it to become. As a result of those two years and the coaching of other women in the league, I decided to apply for the EVP role. My main motivation was to spend more time on management team as it's been my favorite placement to date, but it's also a big opportunity for me to develop a skill set that I don't get to use in my day to day job. I don't have the opportunity to lead a team or work on enacting a strategic plan, and this role provided me with a real chance to grow and evolve those skills to set me up for additional volunteer leadership or even a potential career change down the line. Because who doesn't want to say at a job interview that they have experienced running an organization of 1600 women. As the EVP, I chair the Junior League's management team, which is comprised of all five council managers and assistant managers, as well as the risk manager, the VP of finance, the VP of DNI, the nominating vice chair, the president elect or PE, the EVP elect or EVPE, and the sustaining advisors to both the EVP and the EVPE. The management team handles the day-to-day -day operations of the league, which includes all of our placements, working on the budget, involvement in the selection of community partners, ensuring all our members have a good experience in the league, and reviewing and evaluating all of our internal placements. In addition to chairing management team, the EVP is responsible for reviewing and approving all communications for the league, including the happenings and blog posts, also reviewing the budgets for our community partners, expenses, contracts, and reimbursement requests to name a few. The EVP is the only role in the entire league that is a voting member on both the board of directors and the management team, even though there are other roles who sit on both boards. The EVP sits on the board to ensure a linkage between these two governing bodies and help connect the vision of why we do what we do and how we carry out that work. The EVP also sits on several additional committees, including the building fund, staff, governance, and strategic planning committees and board subcommittees, finance, project development and evaluation, internal PED day, and contracts committee. It's not that I want to sit on every committee and put my finger in every pie in the league, but the EVP sits on so many committees to help ensure she has awareness of the workings of the league, to communicate pertinent information to each of those teams, and to help ensure that we remain mission-oriented in everything we do. If you really want to understand the workings of the JLC inside and out, this is a great position to gain exposure to all the various committees and councils while working to push the league forward in carrying out its mission. It's also a great role to develop and strengthen leadership skills, as well as organization and operational skills. To be a successful EVP, I believe a candidate should have previously served on the management team. As this team does a lot of work on, as the name states, managing the league, some famili familiarity with the big tasks and exposure to them would be very beneficial. Additionally, a working knowledge of governance is crucial for this role. I say governance in terms of familiarity with our governing documents, the bylaws, policies, and procedures, and the process of amending these documents, as well as running a meeting pursuant to Robert's rules and our league split governance structure and organizational chart in order to assist members in navigating the organization as a whole. Other skills that would be helpful in this role are project management, experience or strength in managing and motivating people, troubleshooting and problem solving, the ability to prioritize, plan and execute goals. Due to the depth and breadth of management teams work, I would not advise someone coming out of their provisional year or in their first active year to apply for this role. If someone is in the early part of their league tenure, but aspires to this role, I would strongly suggest serving in committee leadership as a council manager or sitting on management team in some role to gain exposure to this placement and its duties prior to applying. While the EVP is generally an internal facing placement, the EVP is an officer of the league and therefore in line should there be a request for a statement or interview with the press. Additionally, there's the potential for the EVP to interact with our community partners and community advisors. 
The two main pieces of advice I would give to someone thinking of applying to this role would be first, to really review the job description, and secondly, to reach out to me or any other former EVPs to discuss the role. I know the job description is a bit lengthy, but this is a big role. Make sure you know what the time commitment is, which I don't say to be scary, but I say because I want to make sure people who know what they signed on for and aren't surprised. Talk to the women who have held this role before, as they will give you a real look into the role beyond what you can read in the description. Besides those two items, familiarize yourself with our governance documents since I reference them almost daily and spend some time getting comfortable with Digital Cheetah and also review our strategic plan. I look forward to seeing you either as the next EVP or in another leadership role in the Junior League of Charlotte and can't wait to see you around the league.